The first tows began arriving at Omaha on the afternoon of D-Day. As the Phoenixes arrived, they were carefully jockeyed into position. Each Phoenix was simply a floating section of a seawall. And the problem was to sink the Phoenixes so as to form an effective barrier against the fierce channel waves. Each Phoenix has 10 compartments, which were flooded to sink the Phoenix into position. At high tide, the sunken Phoenixes had nine feet of freeboard. Thirty-nine phoenixes were sunk at Omaha, and the seawall was completed on D-plus-seven. 